In this video, I'd like to start actually talking about the play framework, the files that we have, and looking at a little bit of the basic functionality. So the play framework um, is an MVC framework, and the repository that I am going to set up, that I have set up, that, that you should probably pull down and follow along with, is actually a bit more complex than the standard play repository. The, the normal setup for play is contained in this directory called server. Uh, there's also a directory called uh, client and another one called shared. We'll get to those later. They will be significant when we talk about Scala.js. But for now, everything that we're interested in is in server. And then, of course, we have our build.svt, which is a configuration file for doing builds. So Play is going to use SVT as its build manager, uh, but it uses a somewhat different directory structure. Most of your SVT projects are set up using the Maven uh, directory structure, and that is not the primary one that is used by Play. So there are four primary directories that are significant for Play applications. The app directory is where most of your code is going to go. Right now I just have a controllers and a views. There will be a models in here. Uh, there will probably also be an actors at some point. So as I said, this is an MVC uh, framework. So model, view, controller. We have Scala code for a controller. The views are templates that produce HTML. The conf directory has our primary configuration files. So the one we're going to look at the most to start with is routes. Public directory allows us to just put in uh, basic files. We'll see more of this in just a minute. And a test directory where we can put code that uh, runs tests. Now, I am going to use in these videos Eclipse as my editor. Uh, there is no reason that you have to do this. I've been playing a bit with things like uh, VS Code and lots of people like to use IntelliJ. Use whatever uh, editor you want to. If you are going to use Eclipse, note that after you have pulled down the repository, so in the top level of the repository, you would run SBT compile Eclipse. And the first time you run this, it will take a while because it has to download all of the various dependencies that, that this depends upon, uh, assuming that you haven't done stuff with Play before. And when this is done, it will generate four project files, uh, two of which are duplicates. The, uh, so to bring those into Eclipse, if you use Eclipse, you use the import existing projects under general and you select the directory and there are four of these. Now I can't import them because I've already done so. You should deselect the one that ends in JS. We, we aren't going to use the JavaScript one. For one thing it is shared between both the, the client and the server so it has a JVM version and a JS version and we can't uh, we can't have two things named the same. So we deselect the, the third one, the shared one, and that should give you something that looks roughly like this if you've if uh, you've set that up. So if you've done some web development previously using like Apache as your web server, you are used to the idea that you stick files in different directories and the directory structure mostly determines the path to those files. Uh, same type of thing can happen in play. Anything you put in the public directory will have a, uh, a route to it that's under slash assets. In order for us to see this, what we need to do is we need to run play. And we can do that. We go into SBT. And note that I'm not in the server directory. I'm in the top level directory, the same directory that has the build.spt. So I run SBT, and then I can simply type in run. 
and you'll see it says that it has started up an Aka HTTP server. As I mentioned in the previous video, the uh, Play sits on top of Aka HTTP and uses that for its server. It is using port 9000 by default, and it's just going to sit here and run. And so we can go to our web browser and go to localhost 9000 and when you do that some extra stuff will print out it actually turns out that when you reload it checks if there are any changes and it will recompile stuff uh, we'll see that in just a second this is what's currently the the primary page it's not very interesting we'll go into in the the next video how how this gets set up um, but we could look at just how this serves plain Jane uh, HTML or static files. So if we go look at what's in public, public has an images and a style sheets, and then I also have this thing called basic stuff, which is just a basic HTML file. And so in our I left out a slash. There we go. Okay, and in fact, you can look at the source code and see that. So you can put anything that you want inside of the public directory in subdirectories or whatever. And given the routes file here, it's this is set up. We'll talk more about routes also in a future video. But this right here says that if I say slash assets and then stuff, it will go look in that file uh, under, under public. So you could use Play as just a straight uh, web server, but that would be very much underutilizing what it's capable of doing. Um, where it really has its, its strengths is in putting stuff together programmatically and generating the the content for you. And so we'll start looking at that in the next video. We'll look at how we can get Play to uh, generate content for us and more details about how the routing is set up.